Some of our tangent lines are going to be on the opposite side of the circle from the origin, like this blue one. Let's call the points where our tangent line intersects the y and x axes, a and b respectively. Let's call the point where a, b is tangent to our circle point p, and we'll let q and s be the tangent points to the x and y axes. Point a has coordinates o, lowercase a, b is at lowercase b, zero, q has x coordinate r, the radius of the circle, and the y-coordinate of s is also the radius of the circle. Notice that we have two lines passing through point B that are tangent to our circle, BP and BQ. The distance from B to P is the same as the distance from B to Q. The distance from B to Q is the difference in the x-coordinates of our points B and Q. That's B minus R. Similarly, we have two lines passing through point A that are both tangent to our circle. So we have AP is equal to AS. The distance from A to S is just the difference in the Y coordinates. C is the length of our tangent segment AB. So we can add these distances together. So C is A plus B minus 2R. We also have right triangle AOB. So we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. So let's take this first equation and square both sides. And since they're both equal to C squared, we'll set them equal to each other. And we'll expand the left-hand side and keep expanding. We'll subtract the common terms on both sides of the equation. We notice that the rest of the terms are even, so we'll divide both sides by two. Let's factor a from the first two terms, leaving us with b minus 2r. We can also factor 2r from the second two terms. This gives us b. We want to match this other factor, so I'm going to subtract 2r. In doing so, I have 4r squared. In the previous equation, I had 2r squared, so I'm going to add 2r squared to the right-hand side as well. And then we can finish factoring. Let's also consider the tangent points that are on the same side of the circle as the origin. We have similar coordinates as before, and similarly, we have bp is the same as bq, that's r minus b. ap is the same as as, that's r minus a. So c, the length of our segment, is the sum of these two. That's 2r minus a minus b. So AB is the length of these two. That's 2R, that's 2R minus A plus B. Again, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to triangle AOB. When we square this equation, we get this expression on the left-hand side. This is the same as the square of its negative, which is what we happen to have when we considered tangent segments that were above the circle. So when we square this out, we're gonna get the same equation. In the problem statement, we have that our A, B, and Cs are integers. And these other equations must be true. By inspection, we can see that this means that r must also be an integer. We also have 14 solutions for a minus 2r and a positive a and b. If a and b are positive, we can still have a minus 2r be negative. So we also need to include the negative factors that multiply to 2r squared. So at a minimum, we need 14 total factors. This is equivalent to seven positive factors. So let's see what values of r will give us at least seven positive factors. So completing this table, when r is equal to one, two r squared is two, and the number of positive factors is two. When r is two, two r squared is eight, gives us four positive factors. When r is three, two r squared is 18. This gives us six factors. When r is four, that's 32, or two to the fifth, also six factors. These won't give us 14 solutions. Finally, let's try r equals three. Two r squared is 72. This gives us 12 positive factors. So this could potentially give us the 14 factors that we need. So we'll try r equals six and substituting into our equation. One of our factors can be any of the 12 factors of 72. It could also potentially be one of the negative factors with the restriction that a has to be positive. Let's find C14, which is the maximum of all the Cs. We're gonna achieve our maximum segment length when we maximize A over B, or alternatively, we maximize B over A. So we choose the largest value of A minus 12 and the smallest value of B minus 12. That gives us A is 84 and B is 13. And C is A plus B minus 2R, which is 85, and that's our value for C14. Let's find C1, which is our minimum value of C. We get that when we find the smallest values of A and B. That'll happen when A minus 12 and B minus 12 
are negative, let's try a minus 12 is equal to negative 8 and b minus 12 is equal to negative 9. Here a is 4 and b is 3. Let's try the next product pair. We'll try a minus 12 is negative 6 and b minus 12 is negative 12. This gives us b is 0 and we need this to be positive. From inspection we can see here that c is equal to 5, that's c1. The problem asks for c14 over c1. That's 85 over 5. Our answer is 7, option E. If you want me to solve any more AMC or Amy problems, please leave them in the comments.